Welcome to the Academic Framework Module 1. Our topic for today is genre instruction for ELLs and for all. Take a moment to look at our learning intentions for today. For our English language learners, it is helpful to also add language goals. So what is genre? Typically, when we think of genre, we think of book or movie types like romance, sci-fi, adventure. But in the academic world, genre can be considered a particular type or category of language. There are about seven genres that we typically ask our students to address. We can ask ourselves, what are we actually asking our students to do? Are we getting them to retell a series of events? This is recount text. Are we getting them to describe the characteristics of an animal or person? This is description text. Are we asking them to provide instructions on how to make or do something? This is procedural text. Every genre has a specific text structure and every genre has specific language features. But where does this fit in our ELL framework for academic literacy? Let's take a look at our house graphic and find out. The foundational piece is always getting to know our students, their home language, their prior schooling, their experiences. And we build on that with background knowledge and vocabulary instruction. Oral language is also very important as a foundational piece. Then we have our pillars, register, grammar, and genre. And finally, no house is complete without the roof, assessment. So why is this important? Explicit instruction around genre allows students to be aware of the purpose for which they are reading or writing. It provides them with a context to shape their writing and a framework for comprehending text. In other words, a student will know if they're explaining, convincing, or retelling a sequence of events, or simply entertaining. They will also know if they are reading a text, the author's intent. An example of this might be writing about salmon. One might tell a story about salmon or share information about salmon or try to convince people that salmon need to be protected. So where do these live in the curriculum? We tend to see narratives, recounts, and personal responses in the language arts curriculum. Procedures, explanations, and information reports tend to be in the science and social studies curriculum. An argument or discussion are found in all three. Now that we know what genre is and why it's important to learn about, let's consider how we might teach about genre. Here are the main genres commonly used in school. Take a moment to read through them. Our first genre is procedural text. The purpose of procedural text is to provide instructions about how to make or do something. Some examples might include instructions, experiments, do-it-yourself blogs, recipes, and so on. Here are some procedural text. You will see a recipe, a science lab graphic organizer, and an instruction manual for Tamagotchis. The purpose of a recount text is to retell and evaluate events and experiences in the past in the order that they happened. Some examples might include diaries, letters, journals, and so on. Here are some samples. On the left, we see a journal entry. And on the right, we see some primary source material 
for social studies. Narrative. Our narrative genre tells a story. There are many different kinds of stories, as we will see in our next slide. Here are some examples of narrative text. In the top left, you'll see a wordless book called Chalk. Underneath it is a graphic novel called Mouse. On the right hand side is a mentor text for narrative. You might want to pause the video at this point and read that mentor text. The purpose of report text is to present information to classify living or non-living things. Alternately, it can be used to describe the characteristics of people, places, and things. Here are two different examples for report text. One is a mentor text about dogs, outlining the different parts of a report text. The other is a graphic organizer intended to help students write their own report text about salmon. Explanation text is when we explain why something happens or when we explain how something happens. There are two different kinds, sequential and historical. Some examples of explanation text include presentations, scientific articles, textbook flow charts, and infographics. On the left, you can see is a graphic organizer for explanation text. And on the right is an infographic about tomatoes. The purpose of argument text is to persuade the reader or listener by arguing one side of an argument. Discussion text is similar, except we examine more than one side of an issue from an impartial view. Now, typically for argument text, we would ask students to write an essay convincing us of something. But we encourage you to think about argument and discussion text in broader terms. Take a look at this infographic. It is trying to convince us to stop drinking bottled water. It therefore is also an argument text. Response text is used to share an opinion about a written or visual work, object or event. Journaling, book reviews, and opinion pieces are all examples of response text. We've talked about the what's and the why's of genre instruction. Now let's talk about how. How might we teach about genre? Here are some possible steps for teaching and learning. Deconstruct the text. The teacher build a context for the content information. In this case, we can see the text is about dogs. So the teacher would make sure that students have some background knowledge or prior knowledge about dogs. Then the teacher would break down the text to focus on each part. Here you can see there is an introduction, a description, and an evaluation. Next, the teacher rebuilds the text to show how it is constructed. Students, along with the teacher, practice breaking down and rebuilding text using additional examples. Students can then practice with a peer, and then finally, students can construct on their own. Notice there are language features and grammatical things to consider for each type of text. Please take a moment to pause and think. Which genre will you try first with your students? How will you teach it? For more practical ideas on genre instruction, please look for these videos on the YouTube channel, English Language Learners. Hooray!